this is the first impression video of a recently started airing Chinese web drama, 两个人的小森林, A Romance of the Little Forest. Hello, you're watching Avenue X, where junkie and good storytelling shares her thoughts, knowledge, and occasional weird ideas on stories and how they're told. 两个人的小森林, shorten it as Little Forest, is a 36 episodes web drama that's been aired on the platform Youku. This drama is directed by the lady director Cai Tong, led by Yu Shuxing and Zhang Bingbing. It is a really fortunate thing for this drama to come out at this time because back in August, the Aichi drama Fairy and Devil got really popular, making the female lead actress more noticeable than before. We've just seen on the Hunan Television High Saturday show the epic fight between the two male leads from two dramas that are both led by Yu Shuxing fighting off in the game of trying to grab in a ball. <laughs> <laughs> if you watch that show, you know how fierce the competition got. This drama started production at the end of June last year. It's an original script drama not based on any existing material and it features two characters who are very environmental friendly. <laughs> That's how I would put their profession. Male lead actor Zhang Bingbing playing a professor at a university named Zhuang Yu, who is a botanist and his Research goal is to find a wild wormwood that has naturally a very high concentration of the medicine that I cannot pronounce properly in English, but in Chinese it's Qing Hao Su and it's well known because it's discovered, extracted, and then made into medicine by a Chinese scientist who got Nobel Prize for it. This is the medicine we have currently in this world that's the strongest thing to fight against malaria. As for a female lead character played by Yu Shuxing, her character name is Yu Meiren, sharing her surname, and she is actually also a doctor of the study of birds. Ornithologist, that's the English word, although it does touch on the science and all the environment protection type of theme. It is still essentially mostly a contemporary romantic drama of two good-looking young people. The premise of the story is rather simple. Although our female lead character has a degree and she's a proper scientist, she decided not to go down that route for her professional job. She decided to become a Wang Hong internet celebrity content creator focused on makeup. Due to, as she grows up, she always gets criticized, bullied because of her not so outstanding looks and appearance. And she actually had a long history of knowing the male lead since they were in school, but he never noticed her and actually unintentionally hurt her very much because of her not so pretty look, although he is unaware of it. Once she became actually famous on internet and successful at makeup, she decided she's gonna approach him again pretending to be an airhead who only cares about how pretty she looks, not letting him know she's actually also a doctor and aimed at making him fall in love with her first, just as what she appears to be and then shock him basically with who she really is. That's like the starting point of this story. And one funny thing about the setup of the character that is very intentional is the male lead character's character name is Zhuang Yu, Yu is feather, which belongs to birds. And he is the botanist. Whereas the female lead character, her name, full name is Yu Mei Ren, which is the exact word for Chinese describing the common poppy flower. The girl studies birds, her name is a plant, and the guy studies plants, and his name is about birds. That is the brief introduction about the plotline, character setup, and other information about this drama. As I'm making this video, I've watched the first 10 episodes. Probably this is a 1.5 to 2 gold mine drama. Not yet hitting 2 gold mine because it's only one third and I do hope later there are more interesting things happening. Now, as usual, let's talk about the good and not so good. Well, there aren't that many not so good things in my opinion, but anyway, I'm still gonna try to force myself to think of a couple of things. First on the positive end. Number one, the type of drama this is, I'll let you know straightforward which is if you're looking for some light-hearted xiafan drama, which means while you're eating, <laughs> you're eating dinner, you're having lunch, you're having a break, and you can watch an episode or so, it's that type of drama. Very light-hearted. Even the color of this drama is very light-toned. 
cheerful looking. There's no heaviness in this drama at all. And it definitely romanticizes signs in a way, making it look very pretty. People who are doing it all look way too well <laughs> dressed for what they do, but it's not at a point where it's gonna annoy you for idealizing things too much and idolizing things too much. So it's at a very comfortable place. In a way, similar to Yu Shuxing's other drama last year, The Moonlight, Yue Guang Bian Zuo Chu with Ding Yuxi, that is focused on writing, publishing, novelist, that type of thing, editor. This is science, botanist, and ornithologist. <laughs> that word. The second thing is, the overall production quality of this drama is very acceptable. Good standard contemporary drama that you probably are used to now, particularly in 2022, we really do have quite a few quite acceptable quality contemporary dramas in Chinese drama land. Camera work, editing, music, original voice, thankfully, no dubbing of the main characters. And because of the female leads, job of constantly putting on makeup, taking off makeup, sitting in front of the ring light, being a content creator, you're gonna see a lot of that. You actually will see many different versions of her as she's fully made up, not so much makeup, hardly any makeup, pretty much completely without makeup. You see all the stages of that and the camera is pretty honest in terms of when it shows you that, but then it still um, makes the overall color on the light side so that people appear to be brighter than in reality. If you see it with your own eyes, it probably wouldn't look that pretty. A couple of really nice light-hearted songs sung by the leads. The third positive thing I would say is if you in any way like Zhang Bingbing and Yu Shuxing as they are, or as previously what you've seen them in other work. I'd say for Zhang Bingbing, probably Qin Fang in the drama Siteng Rattan. So if you liked him in that drama, you're gonna like him in this drama. As for Yu Shuxing, if you liked her in Moonlight, you're gonna like her in this drama or in Tang really. In this drama, she's very her. And because of her content creator characters, theatrical sort of action sometimes, she is even more like real Yu Shuxing than say her character truly in Moonlight. And plus this drama's overall lighthearted tone and very very funny and cute music sometimes, then a lot of OS, the <laughs> internal monologue or internal talk that you hear the female lead has when she's doing something and then she would be thinking, you hear her thoughts and she actually rant about her own drama action and voice and she literally shivers internally at her own theatricality because she's doing it for purpose. It self cancels out a lot of those maybe a little bit too embarrassing moments while I was watching. I constantly have this mind picture of when these two characters are in the forest, Zhang Bingbing's character will suddenly get a vine wrapped around him and you'll see Jing Tian's Si Teng behind him pulling him towards her. He's mine! And then you would be seeing Dong Fang Qing Tang played by Wang Hedi standing on the other side, use magic, snap his finger and grab <laughs> Yu Shu Xing and say, she's mine! I just get that picture in my head so strongly. Maybe I should just draw it and make it into a sticker. The fourth thing, although this drama by this point hasn't been very vocal about that, I feel down the line, they probably will be more articulate about that, which is both of the characters, they have the professions that's in science and nature, protecting plants, animals, birds. You probably will hear a little bit more of the environmental protection theme coming out later, which I know it sounds very <laughs> cliche these days. So far in the drama, there's one good thing that I noticed is whenever there is a bird, because female lead character is a bird expert, needs to interact with a camera or with the characters, it's all CG'd. They didn't actually use real birds because <laughs> most of the birds they need to use are uh, nationals or protection animals. You can't really do anything to them. So, so far, I, everything is digitally done, but they're very well done and very cute. And the overall idea of how you should treat nature, treat birds so far, all work out. Let's just say politically correctly and <laughs> properly. So I hope later they're gonna do more about that. And with this type of popular drama, uh, with currently popular young actors, it's always a good thing if you can inject some positive things in the more meaningful way, right? For the younger audiences to see. So these are the positive things I can see in this drama. Now, 
What are the things that may put you off? Number one is, like I said, if you don't like Yu Shuxing, she's very, very Yu Shuxing in this drama. You're not gonna like this drama. Yeah, but the thing is, if you don't like her, you're not likely to check out this drama anyway. The second thing is, I am not specialized in science, so I have no idea for the proper botanist or ornithologist in work what it's like. I did go on a couple of field trips, field studies in nature for stuff I've done before. I have a brief idea about just how <laughs> You're not gonna look pretty basically doing that kind of study and work. So there is definitely still a level of idealized looks and things when they put the leads on camera of them going on trips into the mountains, collecting samples, studying nature, plants and stuff. Although it does cleverly avoid not making sense for people to dress not so properly for occasion. The story plot will explain why certain things are like that. But still, there's a level of beautifying it a little bit too much. Then one last thing about this drama is it is 36 episodes for contemporary drama, right? That only features two people who are not really having any dog blood potential of their relationship. You know, they're not like family enemies. They don't have significant problems ahead of them. It's hard to think what else they can inject in a later plot. There's 26 episodes to go. It's quite big for contemporary drama. And if they cannot find enough interesting twists and things to talk about, the drama may just slide off and become... I hope it doesn't happen. I mean, so far it looks pretty nice, but you can't have full on 36 episodes of just her star eyeing the guy all the time and that's gonna get old and tired ring very soon. So my hope for the drama is later they're gonna have a little bit unexpected content that's beyond the simple contemporary romantic drama. If you compare it to rational life, although the rational life is focused on the romantic relationship between older woman and younger guy, but along with that romantic personal development line, you also see that whole career and contemporary professional working environment, all that goes on with it. And they do both very well. So making that drama content wise, making sense to have that big of a size. So I hope for this drama, same thing happens. So that is my first impression on the drama, A Romance of the Little Forest. I'll definitely keep on watching this drama and I've had a lot of fun so far for the first 10 episodes. Hope this is helpful for you to decide whether you should go and check out this drama as well. Thank you for watching Avenue X. I'll see you in my next video. Meanwhile, live long and happy drama watching.